Sweetle Batch 2. What to expect? Bunch of awesome. So we have a stainless steel tip. We've made this uh, neck just a little bit thicker, uh, about a quarter of an inch now. Wire walks a lot better, still regens very nice. Um, and then of course we still have the O-ring which makes it nice and squishy here so that it protects that bottom bearing from getting crunched. We have two Yo-Yo Factory size C bearings. Uh, thanks Hans for hooking me up with those. Um, uh, and then as you can see the the thread goes on up through so that you can attach uh, these different LEDs. Um, if it's a translucent Sweetle, so this one has a translucent equator, if, or if it's all translucent, it will come with two of these. Um, one LED is sort of a color changing deal and one is a solid white, blue, kind of. <laughs> uh, this one is for bearing and this one is for fixed tip. So um, this one, if, without the LED, you can make it fixed tip and any opaque Sweetle uh, comes with just this so that you can convert from bearing to fixed tip. So um, the base, it, just leave the base inside of those and if you want to change which one's which you can just unscrew this and swap them out if you want. Um, this still has the tag in there and then take this rubber thing and throw it away. You don't need it after uh, you get it in the mail. So, um, so yeah, this uh, some of these will have some balancing putty in there. Um, only thing to say about that is leave it alone. Uh, if you leave your spin top in a hot car, that might kind of melt and drip around, which is kind of a mess. Um, but uh, if you get it back in the same spot, it'll spin smooth. If you don't, uh, email me and we'll, I'll talk you through how to get it spinning smoothly again. Uh, each Sweetle should come with a piece of leather, and that's just in case you need to adjust uh, the nut down there. In order to do that, you'll need to grab the tip uh, with a pair of pliers and the leather that protects it from getting all messed up and then you'll need a 7 16 inch uh, socket wrench to get down there and tighten that should only need a little bit of a turn you may need a deeper socket uh, to get down there there's a, a fair amount of screw coming up so that we can get these uh, these nuts on there uh, also of course comes with a string uh, I custom make these these are four ply string um, not too stiff and not too floppy just right Hopefully we hit the sweet spot with all this stuff. Um, it has an N and N on there. That's for Neff and Norris. Uh, Joel Norris is my buddy who got me started uh, in 3D printing, and uh, he's my buddy on this on this venture. So um, I don't know. I, I really hope you like it. I'm really proud of it. Um, shout out with any questions that you have, any ideas that you have, uh, and we'll keep making these. Thanks so much.